we were mightily impressed. Let's get the verdict of the man himself now who's waiting to talk to Chris. Jai, congratulations. I think if you were looking for an example of your explosiveness, we just saw it in the ring right now. Was this the performance that you were looking for? Um, yeah, you know, I, I trained for 12 rounds. I was prepared for 12 rounds. And if the knockout comes, it comes. Take me through that knockout shot, because it was a pretty quiet round up until that point for you when you landed that big punch. Um, yeah, he was very hesitant. You know, he wasn't engaging much, but um, he was a bit too hesitant and he got clipped. So that's just how it goes. This has been a strange week for you. You land in Saudi Arabia as the IBF champion. You step into the ring without your world title belt. Did you take some of that frustration into the ring tonight? I did, but you know, look at this place. It's beautiful, you know, I'm happy to be here, happy to perform in front of the Saudi Arabian people. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Chief. The Excellency. Man, I'm pumped. First round knockout, I'm ready for the next fight. What have the last 18 months meant to you? Because you knew for a long time you had the talent to be on this level. Over the last 18 months, you've gotten bigger and better opportunities in terms of opponents and on stages like this. The last 18 months is just all part of the journey. You know what I mean? I'm here, I'm in the ring. This is all that matters. You know, that's all in the past and it's all built to where I am now. So I'm just excited to be here and I'm excited for the next step. All right, so what is that next step? Because you're unquestionably the number one guy in the cruiserweight division with or without a world title right now around your waist. Do you want to go get your old title back? Do you want a different one? What's on your mind? Man, these dudes put the people in front of me and I just knock them out. So that's what I got to do. Congratulations, Jai. Thank you very much. Eddie, we're going to turn to you. He said he kind of put the onus on you there to find something for him next. What would you think of that performance, and what can you do with a guy like that? Yeah, you're talking about a, a already, I believe, a pound-for-pound -pound talent. You know, you got a guy in Alexander Usyk that became undisputed in the cruiserweight division, moved up and became unified in the heavyweight division. I believe Jai is going to do exactly the same thing. He should be standing here as IBF world champion, but it doesn't matter because everybody knows, every fight fans know, He's the number one cruiserweight in the world. We'd love to be back here in Saudi Arabia in the first quarter of next year and win a world championship. I'd like to see him become undisputed in a cruiserweight division before he moves up to the heavyweight division, and that is inevitable. This is one of the most exciting fighters on the planet. Appreciate it, Eddie. Guys? Thanks, Chris. And they're posing for the photographs, Jai Opataya. Just another day in the life and professional career of one of the best fighters on the planet right now.